a fire station after leaving court. He's got pizza for the guys. This is typical Trump. Let's see what let's see let's poke in and see what he's up to right there. And Joe Biden. He can walk up to a firehouse, a police station. He can walk into a boardroom, a bowling alley, or a bar and have a conversation with absolutely anybody. We, we don't have any audio on him right now, but apparently he's going inside to talk to these firefighters, uh, which is, by the way, right outside the studio, folks. Um, this is incredible. The fact that he leaves court, goes and campaigns with these people, and it goes and campaigns with ordinary people, not high-dollar fundraisers with Lizzo like Joe Biden did recently. You know, I got to do two of these things a day. You know why? Because I'm in New York all the time with the Biden trial. Biden trial. A fake trial. That all of the legal scholars say is a disgrace. It's a fake trial. They do it to try and take your powers away. Try and take your candidate away that's killing them in the polls. You know, if I... I was ready, they didn't have my back. They were petty, I stayed in my back. On their petty, I brought it right back. Back of it. Oh, yeah. It's time to get you out of there, buddy. It's time to step down. We see the corruption now. Election interference at its finest. And not just him. His wife and his daughter. The whole family. <laughs> I kid you not, y'all. More things are coming out every single day, and we're bringing it to you guys, man. We are bringing the updates. We are calling this corruption out. Because me and my patriots are going to crack open a cold one in November. Do nothing, Alvin Bragg. They could have bought this case eight years ago. Eight years ago. Fannie Willis, Fulton County DA, you know, screaming at judges. Judge can't has all the evidence in front of him. He can't make a decision because election coming up. They got affairs going on. You know, tax paying dollars over here going on trips. <laughs> you can't make this up. Tequila bottles, you know. A man with the whole family. He can't take care of his wife and kids. Oh, Letitia James. New York. And then after after court, Trump is doing two, two in one day. Delivering pizza to the first responders, the firefighters, the, 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 the whole department. Y'all can't stop that man. That man is for the people. A president who cares. Who actually gives it. A president who actually gives it. I tell y'all, man. Ain't that something? But it's time to step down, buddy. Let the people vote. You know, you we, we know who's who, who's who's clearing the board. You know? Po other that, that that other po fella, he can't even. He don't even know what to say with, with the teleprompter in front of him. Reading the whole teleprompter. He reading the words in parentheses too. <laughs> Where's my siren set? Where is my siren set, man? Because we're going to crack open a cold one in November, y'all. We're going to call all this corruption out, man. Now, we got some more news on this judge, man. Some more things coming out. This one's coming from our, our brother, Doug, man. So, I'll leave the original link in the description box down below for y'all to check it out for yourself and go show Doug some love. But like I say, man, it's not just the judge, too. It's even his, 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 his we know about his daughter, you know, and then more news is coming out by his, about his wife now. Yeah. Corrupt. And we're going to call it out, man. We're not being silent. We are going to call all this out. 
and we're gonna keep waking up people man make sure y'all drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new here and again i hope everybody is blessed well healthy and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life man and i encourage you all to spread the love in these crazy sick times that we are living in man spread the love you guys check up on your loved ones check up on your people call them text them hug them for me you never know what somebody's going through man let's jump straight in alina haba blasts judge juan mershon this is the guy under alvin bragg sent to prosecute trump who just now got nine thousand dollars worth of gag orders slapped on him for contempt of court for his Free speech, they're trying to gag us free speech, keep him from commenting and exposing Juan Merchon, which is why we're doing shows on this to get the word out for Trump. Help me spread this link around. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Really helps multiply this channel out. And we speak where Trump is gagged. We're free to say it, uh, that what Judge Juan Merchon is corrupt. And, and we're not gagged. We're going to call it out. Yes, indeed. His daughter, his adult daughter, is a major fundraiser for Kamala Harris and Adam Schiff. Totally compromised, totally corrupt. Most people are saying this New York case especially is about to fall apart. On the brink of it. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Yeah. This is where the happy patriots are. Let's watch Alina Haba. The, the issue that Donald Trump is dealing with, the political persecution, and is he's directly correspondent to the calls for Marxism from our college campuses right now. Show me the man, I'll show you the crime, Alina. The Biden protests that are going on are horrible. It's all caused by him, because he doesn't know how to speak. He can't put two sentences together. He's got to get out and make a statement. Uh, he, he really can't though man i, I tell y'all man it's it's ridiculous what, what what we're seeing you know it is it is it, it, it we look so we look i'm telling y'all we look so weak right now y'all we look so so weak right now man things gotta change man People are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. And, it, and it's showing now. I'm telling y'all, man, that, that video we, we we seen and reacted to and put on the channel and even posted in the shorts, it, it's disturbing. It really is, man. And you, you never want to uh, hate on anyone. I never want to hate or bash or do anything like that. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, our elderly, you know, our grandparents, um, people that are dealing with, you know, family members that have dementia and, you know, just not, you know, as we get older, things are going to happen, man. And you never want to bash anybody. That's one thing I'm big on. But to be, you know, the president of the United States is... Yeah. You, you got to be there. You got to have it. You know, you, <laughs> you know, you got to have it. And what we're seeing, it, it's just not there. Boy, we can't wait to November, baby. We're going to crack open the code and it's time to get Trump back in there. You know, and if you've seen the rallies, you know, we, he he's calling it out. Hey, y'all comment down below if y'all seen them rallies, man. We showed some yesterday, you know. I really enjoyed that whole, I mean, did did two and one. Poe Fuller did two and one. Meanwhile, Joe can't even walk across the White House a, a yard. Damn. <sighs> because the colleges are being overrun in this country i threw that clip in at no additional charge that trump is uh calling out biden these are the biden protests they're being funded by something and it is tied to biden not being able to speak that they're they're trying to drum up the radicals to come and create mass riots at our campuses to represent biden in a campaign did y'all so, see yesterday uh at, on campus it was a huge, there was tons of college uh, students 
Um, they were going back and forth, you know, with the protest, with the protests, and they had their Trump, their Trump signs. Um, I might throw the clip in the beginning of the intro of the video. Or well, I might throw it in here. Um, if we can find a good clip. I, it was tons, but I think they were like, whoever was recording, it was too short, you know. But, um, yeah, they were going back and forth, man. And it was tons of students um, sh uh, chanting Trump, 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 four more years, Trump 2024. Tons of uh, college students. And I believe it came from the Ole Miss, uh, it was Ole Miss, the Ole Miss campus, college, Ole Miss. Ole Miss, y'all know what I'm talking about. And it's tied back to this corrupt, funded, communist funded, one merch on the judge. It's so sad. And, and you know, it's sad, Carl, that he can't speak about it. Uh, yeah. The gag orders, the unconstitutionality. I mean, what is more Colombia, Russia? What is more third world? Uh, what this Judge Mershon has done is turn the Constitution on its head by illegally, unconstitutionally gagging a criminal defendant. If anyone in America and and, and Michael, he's on TikTok, uh, just 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 rolling in, in in bank, making money off of it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, and, and and our president can't say anything. America needs the constitutional right to speak out against the judge, the prosecutor, their staffs, the witnesses, their biases in the process. It is a criminal defendant going through a criminal trial. That's so another form of communism that it's just famous for it is censorship you have to gag your political enemy whether if you use the court or if you use the barrel of a gun in this case they're using the courts why use a gun when you can get it done by a judge um and that's um the great mike davis uh on laura ingram show who clerked for i think gorsuch he cl clerked for one of the main supreme court guys but i love him too he's a great voice we'll continue I'm just tying it all together that the judge is corrupt. It has to do with these university protests and Trump's gag order. It's going back to this being some kind of organized Marxism. I don't believe in conspiracies, but I believe in synchronicity. What happened in court today with the gag order and, and this the anger that you're seeing from these judges, it, it's very concerning for well, me. You know, I, I actually looked at what we could see out of that. And the gag order, it's like the judge imposes a gag order. And I'm not gagged by this, so I can say anything in the world about this. This judge's daughter is a liberal activist, and he's catering to stuff so she can raise money. And I'll make that accusation. You don't have to. Well, I really think you have a lot of paid agitators, professional agitators in here, too. And I see it all over. And you know, when you see signs and they're all identical, that means they're being paid by a source. Uh, you know, these aren't hand-painted signs where people would go to their basement and paint something because they really believed it. These are all signs that are identical. They're made by the same printer. And, you know, when you see that, that means there's somebody at top that's paying or a group that's paying. So it's both Trump and this Newsmax and Alina Haba are all making the case. Uh, there's evidence that these um riots are somehow tied to our election and somehow tied to trump's gag order and trump is calling out that all the signs look like they're printed by the same people we had said already all of the tents are the same that is they were purchased in mass by some big funder i i don't really even care who did it it might be soros or it might be private or it might be the white house i don't know i only know that this is not about trump's they're not giving Trump free speech. They're trying to, this is how the Biden campaign is trying to run an election. It's not gonna work on the people. It hasn't worked so far. It's backfiring on them. Yeah, this is the same methodology that um, judges have done with me and the left-wing media, they'll, they'll run with it. They try and make uh, attorneys on the team 
look or seem like they don't know what they're doing. Uh, they know that the press is in the room. So they do this intentionally today with Mr. Blanche to say to Todd something like you're losing credibility because there's no case law on a president being gagged and his First Amendment rights being taken away. Well, let me tell you why there's no precedent on that. <laughs> there's no precedent on that because it's never happened before. So this is about the even the judge Juan Merchant, who's the only one who thinks this case is going to hold together. And he has a bias, by the way, a reason to make it so, because his career's on the line. He's going to be the guy that this whole thing fell apart. But uh, all the other major experts on this, including many, many Democrats, are going, this is the thinnest, dumbest case they've ever seen. This is spaghetti. Ever seen. And ever now, they're, seen. And now uh, they're just using it to try and tie up Trump. Keep them it's ridiculous, man. And we've called out all the corruptors, everybody that is coming after this man. Everybody. Everybody sees that this is election interference at its finest. And because of this, some of the best campaigning has been taking place. Some of the best campaigning. And even people that wasn't going to vote. Even people that, that don't like either president. Let's be honest. I've seen, I've seen the comments. I've seen, you know, people... <laughs> In the, in the media, people in the public, people speaking out in interviews. Oh, I, I, you know what? I see what's going on now. You know, I, what they're trying to do to this man. Now I see what's happening. You know, I wasn't going to vote, vote at all, but now I'm voting for Trump in 2024. It's made him even more popular. Hmm. Mm-mm. Whoa, whoa, boy. We're gonna crack open the code in November. We're riding that truck with the check engine light on, and she's riding, baby. And we're gonna get to our destination, Patriots. We're gonna get to our destination even with the check engine light on. Off the campaign trail, eight hours a day, he can't campaign. Hoping that, that by pushing the scales down in Biden's favor, that maybe Biden will help crawl over the finish line. And he's probably going to literally die on the campaign trail. He's so just a, sh a shambling, shimmering man. There's nothing left of. He's such a shambling man. <laughs> I, I apologize, y'all. Oh man! Again, y'all know I don't. I don't. I'm all about spreading love, man. Again, you know, even though a lot of this stuff we're hearing is just the truth, but uh, I never want to. I never want to bash anybody, man. You know, we know Jim Crow Dro is. You know, they're 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 trying to help. They're trying to you know wrap him around his shoulder and and carry him to the finish line. You know, but he but come but he dragging them. He making it harder for the people that's that's trying to get him to the finish line. Yeah, they struggling trying to carry him. <laughs> you know, just goes out there and embarrass himself. Get that brother a clap. Get that brother a glass of cold milk and pat him on the head and tell him to go to bed. <laughs> Oh, man. Y'all get that fella a good old cold glass of milk. Go on, go on, get in the bed. Go on, lay on your left side. Yeah. <laughs> ah. There's just nothing much left of him even to campaign with. This Michael Cohen is a disbarred attorney. He's a convicted perjurer. And he's out there trashing Trump during a criminal trial. And when President Trump tries to respond to this goofball, this biased Democrat Manhattan judge, Juan Mershon, who donated to Biden in 2020, donated to another anti-Trump cause, and whose adult daughter, Lauren Mershon, is fundraising off of this criminal trial, requiring Judge Mershon's recusal. How does Judge Re Mershon respond? He, he imposes an illegal, unconstitutional prior restraint on Trump's constitutional rights. And we have to keep bringing this up. That's Michael Cohen over there on the right in the cowboy hat 
who um, uh, testified against Trump, used to be Trump's friend, now is stabbing him in the back. He's already considered the biggest liar. It's like he has no credibility to his case. And then Mike Davis is just calling that out. So even as Trump gets a gag order, all of the bad guys that are up against him are frauds. They're clowns. Mm. They have nothing on the man. They can't make anything stick. Trump keeps winning uh, and the people have his back. And now all that happens is the people just see it over. Even if you try and shut him up with a gag order, people just look at him and go, why is Trump getting a gag order put on him? Why isn't there a gag order on Michael Cohen? Why is Michael Cohen able to make money off of going online every day and ridiculing Trump? Why can't Trump turn around and say the same thing back to him? It's becoming obvious to everyone in this internet age, the state is not going to be able to pull off what it thinks it can it can on behalf of Marxism and communism and, and erecting this giant monstrous force. I don't think you know the American people and you don't see what we're going to do with the internet. I'm Doug. Sir, y'all comment down below, man. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Again, we're calling it out, man. We're not being silent. We're making sure everybody can see it, man. For their own eyes, for their own ears. Make sure everybody can see what's going on, man. Again, creators like myself, Doug in Exile, tons of people on the platform that are calling this out. Tons of reactors. Um, you know, people that have just wanted to just jump to this side and and, and it, and expose the truth man salute salute love to you you know um again i feel like creators and other creators you know just like me in this niche don't get enough credit man you know it takes some balls and some courage to call this mess out man whether you like it or not and we've actually woken up Thousands, millions of people, millions, actually millions of people, you know, if you look at all the, you know, the views from different channels and different videos that have been posted and people that are calling everything out, we woken up so many people, man. And that's why I tell y'all some of the best campaigning is going on, you know, and they're, they're trying to stop it. They're trying to stop it, but I tell you. We're going to crack up the cone in November. I want two out the cooler. Give me two. I want two out the cooler now. Yeah, pass me over to you right there. I appreciate you now. How are you? The family's well? The kids are doing good? That's not, That's amazing. God bless you and your family, baby. Thank you for my two right here. You got one of those uh, bottle openers. You know, I can't get it with my hand. You know, I, I mess my hand up. I love you guys, man. Y'all be sure to spread the love, man. You never know what somebody's going through, especially in 2024. It's a, it's, it is, we're living in some crazy times right now, y'all. So check up on your loved ones, hug them, call them, text them. You know what I'm saying? Be there for your kids. Spread the love to one another and people around you. You know what I'm saying? Be kind, please, care. It's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now in the world we live in, man. So I love you guys and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, family.